The Anchorage Municipal Palatine of Anchorage Planning Board will now come to order August 16th at 6.30. May we have roll call. Dan Young. Present. Clayton Walker. Present. Kevin Cross. Present. Mark Seward. Present. Jana Welson. Present. Trevor Edmondson, Christina Enix, Don Porter, and Valerie Ritz have been excused. Thank you. The Platting Board meets each month on the first and third Wednesday except holidays as regular meetings. If the Platting Board fails to complete their agenda for a regular meeting, we carry it over for the next meeting. Procedure by which the public may speak at this meeting is after staff presentation is completed on public hearing items. I will ask for public testimony on an issue. Persons who wish to testify will follow the time limits established in the Commission Rules of Procedure. Petitioners and their representatives have 10 minutes. They may reserve part of their time for rebuttal. Representatives of groups, community councils, PTAs get five minutes, individuals three. When your testimony is complete, we may ask you questions. You may only testify once on an issue unless questioned further by the board. We'll now turn to approvals. Uh, we have action summaries for Wednesday, May 3rd, 2017 and Wednesday, July 19, 2017. May I have a motion to approve the action summaries? Kevin Cross moves and Dan Young seconds. Is there any opposition to the summary of actions? Seeing none, the motion passes. We next take up the minutes. We have draft minutes before us for July 19, 2017. We have a motion to approve the minutes. Kevin Cross has moved and Jana Wilson has seconded the minutes. Are there any corrections or changes that should be made to the minutes as presented. Seeing none and seeing no opposition to the motion, the motion passes. Minutes have been approved. Um, we'll now turn our attention to disclosures. Do any members of the board have disclosures to make with respect to tonight's actions? Seeing none, we will move on to uh, informational items. We have informational items from June 26th, July 3rd, July 17, and July 24th. The planning board. When there is a short board, five member board or commission, a postponement is offered to and agreed to by the petitioner. They will be moved to the next regular agenda. This sh should occur within 30 days, which does not require re-noticing the case or new public hearings or advertising. If the petitioner is willing to postpone but not able to attend the next available meeting within 30 days, the petitioner has a one-time option to choose the next date they can attend at no extra fee. When a postponement is requested by the petitioner, there is a rescheduling fee and a new public hearing date shall be determined by the planning division. This will put their case in the next available cutoff date, Q, as if they were submitting their case for the first time. Uh, with that, we will now call uh, case S12350, Resolution Bluff Subdivision Petitioner Hickel Investment Company. Are you guys um, willing to go forward with tonight's board? Yes. Okay. And with that, may we have the staff presentation? Uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The petitioner is requesting vacation of a 200-foot sewer easement, ADL 26737, a 60-foot road easement, ADL 55949, a 20-foot underground electric easement, ADL 59050, and a 60-foot gas easement dedicated via plat 2003-63. Uh, These easements affect lots 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and tract 1 within the Resolution Bluff subdivision preliminarily approved by the Planning Board on December 2, 2015. To ensure that these lots are not encumbered from development, the petitioner is pursuing vacation of the aforementioned easements. The vacation requests have been reviewed and found to conform to the municipal vacation policy. 
The details of each uh, easement vacation request are as follows. The 200 foot sewer easement ADL 26737 Anchorage Water and Wastewater Utility or AWU for short has no objection to the vacation of the easement. Staff believes that this easement is in excess of municipal need and recommends approval of this vacation. 60 foot road easement ADL 55949 AWU has no objection to the vacation of this easement. Other reviewing agencies have no objection to the vacation of this easement. Therefore, staff believes that this easement is in excess of municipal need and recommends approval of this vacation. 20 foot underground electrical easement, ADL 59050. Chugach Electric has submitted a letter of non objection to the vacation of this easement. Other reviewing agencies have no objection to the vacation of this easement. Therefore, staff believes that this easement is in excess of municipal need and recommends uh, approval of this vacation. 60 foot gas easement, it is unnecessary for the planning board to take any action on this vacation. Conditional vacation of this easement was previously approved on December 2nd, 2015. And the planning department recommends approval of these vacations subject to the conditions as stated in the staff report on page three. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Does the board have any questions for staff at this time? Seeing none, then we have petitioner's representative. Thank you, Mr. Chair. My name is Dean Simiotti, and I'm with Lounsbury and Associate, and we are the agent for Hickel Investment, the petitioner. And uh, as Ryan stated, this is some cleanup work for that preliminary plat that was approved. The effort is to get those three ADLs vacated. In addition to um, getting the utility companies to approve and sign off, we've had a parallel process with the Department of Natural Resources because these are ADLs, and we provided them all the documentation that they need. Um, and they've moved forward with their process. And on Friday, uh, the 11th of August, we received. Right oh, I'm sorry. On Friday, I'm going to make a good record for you. Okay, thanks. Um, on Friday, the 11th of August, we received a letter from the uh, uh, South Central Regional uh, Director of the Department of Natural Resources, and they have uh, concurred with this request. And we do have a letter from them that he signed off stating that upon approval of the final plat, they will record those relinquishment letters for these same three ADLs. So we've got DNR on board, utility companies are on board, and as you heard Ryan speak, the municipalities on board. So. Thank you. Does, did you reach the end of what you're yeah, going to yeah. present? Yep. Fine. Um, does the board have any questions for the petitioner's representative? Uh, yes. Um, thank you. Uh, just for clarification and for matter of public record, I uh, recall earlier when we were um, debating uh, this project, there was public testimony dealing with the trail easement that's noted crossing from lots 10 through 14. Mm -hmm. Just for clarification for public record, this does not affect the trail easement. Is that correct? That is correct. Thank you. Does that raise any other questions for the board? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are there any other members of the public who wish to be heard on this? Anyone at all? Would you like to use any of your rebuttal time? Thank you. And with that, we will now close the public hearing and the matter now rests with the board. I have a motion to approve the vacation of the easements. Kevin Cross, would you please state your motion? Regarding case S12350, resolution bluff subdivision request for vacation of easement, 
We, I move to grant the petitioner the requesting vacation of the 200-foot sewer easement ADL 26737 and 60-foot road easement ADL 55949, a 20-foot UNG uh, electrical easement ADL 59050, and the 60-foot gas easement dedicated via plat 2003-63. Subject to the following conditions. Yeah, thank you. Uh, number one on page three. Okay, with that, Dan Young has seconded the motion. Is there any opposition to the motion on the floor? Are there any findings that anyone wishes to put in the record? Kevin Cross. Regarding my motion, I voted to... Uh, I, I, and intend to vote to approve my motion. Uh, I think it's important to note that um, during the original request for the plat, um, there was much public testimony which revolved around the trail easement, and I think it's very important for public record to note this does not affect any trail easements. This affects only utility easements, not access to the bluff or surrounding areas, and has been uh, unanimously determined to be um, approved um, by all utility agencies. Thank you. Other and Dan Young. Yes, through the chair, um, I want to add. I'm, I intend to support this. The, that we found from staff that the 200 foot sewer easement uh, ADL 26737 is an exit ex, excess needs of the municipality. We found from staff that the 60 foot road easement is an excess needs of the municipality, and that the um, 20 foot UNG electric easement is excess of the municipal needs and that we don't and also the 60 foot gas easement is something that we don't have to address thank you any further findings seeing none and hearing no opposition to the motion on the floor the motion passes um, Any individual may have appeal rights relating to any action the planning board takes. Appeal of this decision or any of the conditions is governed by Anchorage Municipal Code 2111-304. The decision of the board at the scheduled public hearing becomes final seven calendar days after the decision is made on the record unless a written request is submitted to the planning division prior to the expiration of the seventh day to prepare a written decision based upon the record made at the hearing and the request is accompanied by a written notice of intent to appeal. Adoption of the written decision by the planning board becomes the final appealable decision. Within 20 days of the final appealable decision, an interested party must file with the municipal clerk either a written notice motion alleging new evidence or changed circumstances per Anchorage Municipal Code 2111-503 or an appeal of the board's final appealable decision under AMC 2130. Are there any other persons to be heard? Any other reports this evening? Any board member comments? Then we stand in adjournment.